Are we ready? Let's do this. Hello YouTube, LJ Draco here, yes. So this video is going to be, um, this video is stuff that's coming out in the next couple of months that I definitely, definitely want to be purchasing. So let me start off from the bottom of, uh, from the bottom of this list and work my way up to the top, shall we? Okay, let's start off with, right, so on May 29th of 2017, uh, I should be finally... Uh, well, the UK finally are getting Yu-Gi-Oh! the movie uh, Dark Side of the Dimensions. Now, if you watch my review on this, I explain how the movie was kind of lacking in, um, in, in entertainment uh, for a Yu-Gi-Oh! fan or for a movie fan in general. Uh, the story was a bit dead. Uh, characters, you know, you love Kyber and you love Yu-Gi, but it just seemed a little bit flat. But if this, if this turns out to be like the Bonds Beyond Time Blu-ray, it means it should come with the original Japanese anime and the 3D on like a special menu. If it comes with 3D, this will probably be the best movie that I purchased in 2017. Because as you guys know, I've told you about, is Yu-Gi-Oh! Bonds Beyond Time is one of the best animated 3D Blu-rays that I've ever seen in my life. It has the most perfect combination of in-depth and pop-out. Um, it's full frame, widescreen, it's just, just so amazing. Um, so if it comes like that, then you know this will definitely be worth the purchase money. Right, then on June 19th, um, finally getting Electric Dreams on Blu-ray. See, now, I never knew about this movie. It was a great friend of mine, Arthur, who told me about this movie, told me to watch it, and I watched it. And as you can tell by my review, I really enjoyed it. It was quite fun. It was amazing. Quite an interesting story for a film that I didn't think that I'd like at the beginning. I watched the first 10 to 15 minutes. I was like, ooh, this doesn't seem like a movie I could enjoy. But then it just got better along. Um, reminds me of Beautiful Creatures. Uh, I just I thought, oh my god, this shit just looks like Twilight, and then like 20 minutes into the movie, I just went, oh, okay. Um, so yeah, so it's nice to have Electric Dreams that are coming out on Blu-ray. Definitely going to pick that up. Then, and, okay, this, this one's a bit more closer coming out. Uh, this is the um, 3D version, limited edition artwork sleeve of... Uh, so April 10th is uh, Rogue One, a Star Wars story. I have not seen this movie. I've heard all the spoilers, though, unfortunately. Um, I was sitting on a bus once, and I heard these two people talking behind me. And I'm not a rude person, so I couldn't turn around and say, Shut the fuck up! Uh, I unfortunately just sat there and listened. Um, but, you know, from what they were saying about it, it sounds like a movie that I could still really enjoy. And if it's got a 3D, like... Um, uh, like, A Force Awakens, it's going to be amazing. Then, the closest 3D Blu-ray coming out towards the end of this month, uh, on March 27th, is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Now, see, this isn't a definite purchase because I didn't, I haven't seen this, but from what I've seen of the trailers, and from what I've heard other people tell me about this movie, I've been very, very, very reluctant to even go near this movie. I don't know what it is, I'm just a fan of the original Harry Potter movies. Anything that comes before or after that, I just feel like would be a total letdown to me. That I just wouldn't feel that kind of magic like I did with the Harry Potter movies. So I just feel very reluctant to go near it, really. And then the fir the final movie uh, in May, uh, May 15th, um, Assassin's Creed. Yet again, another movie I didn't get to see in the cinemas, but I'm looking so, so, so forward to going to see. Just, It's going to be amazing. I love Michael Fassbender. Um... I really want to see the work that he does in this movie as an assassin. I would think that'd be amazing. Now, see, that's a couple of the Blu-rays and that and, and the three really like that are coming out. Um, that I'm, that I'm probably other than from Fantastic Beasts, pretty much gonna p purchase those as they're quite interesting to me. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. There's just there's just something about. Certain certain three D Blu rays or certain movies that are coming out that I just don't particularly want to purchase or think that I could enjoy, and um, I know Electric Dreams proved a, a big point where just because you think you're not going to enjoy a movie doesn't mean you won't. But you know it just it's just it's so hard to it's hard to think about that. It's hard to kind of think about 
whether or not you could enjoy it, and it, it's it's like okay, fair enough, I might enjoy it. But what if I spend all this money and then I don't? That's still me losing out because now I've spent money on something I don't enjoy, and I own something I don't enjoy. You have to kind of put that two into progress and, and think about what you what you want to do. But uh, all the others I definitely want to get. All amazing looking movies, and some of them I have seen. The only reason I'm purchasing Yu-Gi-Oh is just to see if it does come with a 3D special bonus. Because on the so I've showed you the case and the disc to the Yu-Gi-Oh 3D. It did not say 3D on the, on the case. It just says standard Blu-ray. It just says Yu-Gi-Oh Bob's Got Time. And then when you put the disc in, it comes up. Would you like to watch this movie in 2D or 3D? So you get that special option. Um, and it doesn't even mention there's a 3D option on the case. It just says the original Japanese movie and special features. So if it does, if they do it the same way, it it would be amazing. Um... So yeah, that's just, just a little video I want to talk about because I want to try and start uploading a bit more. Uh, plus, on the 24th, I think it's 24th, um, 24th of March, uh, me, my missus, uh, my friend and his missus are all going to go and see Power Rangers. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're all going to go and go see that because we want to we wanna go and watch it. Um, so there'll probably be like a mini vlog thing leading into us watching it and then there'll probably be like a review the day afterwards like there was Yu-Gi-Oh. Um <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Also, um I'm expecting some printer ink because my missus was kind enough to lend me her printer. Uh but we have no ink so I've ordered some printer ink. Um purely because um if you look at my shelf, uh the brown one, give me a second. If you look at my brown shelf, just just here, right? Uh, it's smaller and uh, it's not as wide as the other ones, so you can't fit as many Blu-rays on this shelf as you can on the other one. But if you look up, I've got my Star Wars box set and the Force Awakens Collector's Edition. Now, the thing about that is, um, I like them. I like them being there; they're nice collector's pieces. But I don't like having the Blu-rays in them because it causes some issues. Now, it's going to spoil a surprise when I do my collection update for the next two months. But as you can see, I've got a Lord of the Rings extended box set up there. Now, see, my Lord of the Rings extended aren't in that box. They are down here, if you can see. See there? They're all there. Right? So, I, I want to do something similar with the Star Wars. I don't want the Star Wars to be... Um, on top of the shelf in, in the boxes. I want them out separately. Uh, but the problem with doing that is you have to have separate sleeves, separate cases. Um, now for Force Awakens. Now I've been, I was working on a custom sleeve for Force Awakens. when As soon as I found out that the big chunky box was coming out. Now um, it took me forever to try and fix it. I came up with at least six different designs for it. And this was when I found out this was coming out. Um... I, I don't, personally, I don't like making custom sleeves. I quite like sleeves when they come in the cases. I like, I just like, I don't know why. I just think it, it, it it's the original product. So that that's how I do it. I don't like, I don't like doing my own custom sleeves. Oh, my little custom sleeves are great. And they're fine to have. But for me personally, I don't like making them. I don't, I don't enjoy that because it, it it's me trying to take someone else's work and make it my own. And I don't like that. But if I need, if I want Star Wars on the shelves instead of in the boxes to look more noticeable, I had to do my own. Um, so I've got sleeves now for for the Star Wars movies. Uh, so I'm just waiting for the printer ink so I can print them out at least. And I've got the cases. I've got a lot of cases that I can use. Um, but I just want to make it clear that the artwork that I've used for my Star Wars sleeves are not my artwork these belong to other people i got them from google uh, so i'm not taking any credit and no will i be like i won't be like selling these sleeves or duplicating them and using them for profit i'm literally just printing one copy of each sleeve for my personal use um but when i find the names of the artists who did the sleeves i'm gonna give them the credit because that is their artwork um no one else's I just trying to find the right design, so I want to just make it clear that in this video, I'm 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 noticing and declaring that the artwork is not mine. 
uh, it does belong to other people. But I just, um, I just wanted them to have a, a feel to them, and uh, I found some nice images that I could use purely for this. Um, I'm not going to show the images in this video at all. I'm purely just going to show them after I've done it. But even in that video, if in that video um, is when I'll put the names up of the actual artists instead of in this one. Uh, because then that way I can show you which artist designed which uh, sleeve and whatnot. So when I get their names, I'll write them down and I'll do it properly. Um, so yeah, that that's just it for now. Sorry if you dragged on for a bit longer than it was supposed to. Anyway, YouTube, if you enjoyed this video and previous videos, please show your support by clicking that like button down below. And don't forget, if you're new to my channel and you want to see future videos, please subscribe and show your support. And I'll see you next time.